forward to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Kelly, for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I want to thank you, special agents, for appearing. I think, like everybody on this panel, we admire your courage and your patriotism for doing that. But my questions really are to the Terry family. And, uh, Mr. Terry, I know how difficult it was for your opening statement. And I will tell you now that uh, as I'm in the autumn of my life, being the father of four and the grandfather of five, I think the unintended consequences of poor policies and procedures and failed strategies, at some point, somebody has to be held accountable for these things. And, and as difficult as it may be for yourself and the Terry family, if the person responsible were in the room right now for Operation Fast and Furious, what, what might you want to say to them? And, and please, I think it's so important for the public to understand the purpose of these hearings. While we're very upset with the policies, it's important that people understand that there is a loss of human life here. So it's more than just a strategy that's failed. It's more than a failed policy and procedure. It is the loss of someone that is so near and dear to you. So if your opportunity to do that, I would appreciate. Well, it is tough. Uh, Brian was an amazing kid. Uh, an amazingly brave kid that was willing to uh, put his life on the line. If that person were in the room, obviously, we'd want him or her to accept responsibility. Uh, right now, looking back at this uh, operation, it appears that uh, it has cost the life of, of our Brian. We hope and pray that it's not going to uh, result in any additional lives of U.S. Uh, law enforcement. But uh, I don't know if we can uh, truly, if that's truly going to happen. Uh, those guns are out there. So beyond accepting responsibility, for these decisions and why uh, we'd be curious to, to, to hear why did you feel that this was with, within that risk. You know, I've heard uh, from the ATF agents here that uh, even a mock-up weapon normally would not have been allowed to walk during these, uh, these operations. And, uh, you know, an awful lot of weapons walked and uh, we'd be curious to find out why. Ms. Blau, or Ms. Terry, anything do you have to add? I don't know what I would say to them, but I would like to know what they would say to me. That's all I would say. Well, I know it's difficult. I don't want to put you through in this, but I think it is incredibly important because the fabric of your family has been irreparably torn and can never be put back together again. And so the purpose of these hearings really, is to make sure that nobody else has to go through the same thing that you have gone through. So I appreciate you being here with that, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman.